Hey, welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 2 Part 96. And for this segment, I'm going to try this out and hopefully not uh, fail everywhere. I'm going to use this number 58 Larbra Comp Competition Viper. It, it's it's an IMSA Viper. It's fucking awesome. So, yeah. So let's move on to our next endurance race. It is going to be the Suzuka Grand Prix for our three cars. And the entire field is Super GT. <laughs> Except for my car. So, uh, that's, that's what's happening here. Now, if we remember the wonderful experiences I've had with R3 in this game, this is going to be a holocaust, but hopefully I can use pit strategy and shenanigans to, uh, get the win, and it's, this is definitely going to be a two-stop race, because this is 30 laps, so. To Suzuka! Oh, hey, I'm actually not starting last. That's interesting. I'm starting in front of the one NSX in this. Okay. Well, we got half the field are Supras, holy shit. Two Skylines, my Viper, and then an SX, so... Hooray. Let's do this. 30 laps around Suzuka, so... One thing I definitely want to do, I want to try my damnedest here, is to uh, keep my car clean. Even if it means driving cautiously and not taking overtaking opportunities. So, there we go. Got a good launch. Got around uh, one of the other, uh, one of the skylines. Working on E-Day here. Yeah, I know. Me driving cautiously is never going to work. I'm going to try it, goddammit. So, meh. Yeah. Gonna have the power of being better than them in pit lane, so oh god. Okay, be very, very careful with the hairpin. Good to know. That uh, that wheel spin plus that counter steer. It just did not work out at all. Oh man, Q is hosting me. Whoa. Got an R390 stuck at Abercaw Hill pit wall. God. GG more. GG. Way to go, asshole. Ooh, I did not take that as quickly as I wanted to. Ah. Uh, this is the part where it's like, I, I gotta be patient. Could have went for a dive and maybe uh, bullied my way around Motoyama, but. Eh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna try to do some kind of like offset pit strategy here. Like once I figure out like pit strategy as far as tire mileage and fuel mileage, I'm gonna pit early or something. situations you were trying to pass him, he was trying to pit, oh god. That sounds fun. And obviously it ended very well for the R390. Okay, careful, careful on the throttle, holy shit. I almost want to take that in third gear. I think I might do that. This car's gears are short enough. At least the opening gears are short enough. I mean, it is Viper after all. First four gears are short as fuck, and fifth and sixth are longer than the goddamn fucking Wall of China. The Great Wall. Actually, the fifth gear isn't that long in this thing, so, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to be careful with the VitVap here. 
That's why I'm hesitating to pass these fuckers. Meanwhile, they're just kind of all in a little pile here. Well, okay, well, so much for the clean race. There goes the front of my car. Oh yeah, this thing has eyelashes, by the way. Isn't that fucking sexy? I don't know. Damn you, e -day. God damn, they're really going at it up there. Meanwhile, so she is just kind of starting to check out. Oh, okay, well there goes, uh, there goes Motoyama. Fucking dead. Why is this got Skyline doing so bad? I don't know, I guess e -day sucks. Okay. So, uh, one contender eliminated. Okay, let's try the hairpin in third gear this time. Much, much smoother. Holy shit, that was smooth. And it didn't really bog down either. Like I said, first few gears on the Viper really goddamn short. Really short enough to do that. They're still fucking side by side. Just everywhere. Oh. Cornell goes wide. Yeah, and before Motoyama gets on the podium. Oh, let's see. Let's try to pass the lone NSX here. It's the Gzox one, I think. Oh, once again, e -day, he's slowing way the fuck down, but then again, it was to, uh, avoid hitting the back of Wakisaka here. When suddenly, I'm up to fifth, okay. I'm ahead of everybody who isn't driving a Supra. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, Forza AI is definitely superior to GT because they actually battle amongst themselves and shit. That's that's the one thing Gran Turismo has never been able to do particularly well, and that's AI. I mean, they kind of had some in GT too, because a lot of the like the lower uh, speed races had the cars just be two by two and shit. But other than that, not really. Just one of those on rails AI things. They have a set line that they must follow. Please do not touch me, Ide. Thank you. You know, boy, what is Q gonna do? Are you gonna uh, counter me, my meme from earlier? Mr. Twitch. Nice name. I immediately thought of Mr. NXT during that whole uh, thing where Bo Dallas wasn't allowed back in NXT. He tried everything he fucking could to get back in. And Mr. NXT. Okay, four laps down. Sitting comfortably behind these Supras. I think next lap, if I remember, I'm going to check my uh, tire wear. We'll see where we're where we are there. Also, judging by fuel consumption, this might actually be a one-stop race. Before Road Atlanta was the odd man out with it being a two-stopper. All the other Enduros just one. Mm -hmm. 
actually keeping up with these Supras pretty fucking easily. A little bit surprised, because the Supras around here are very, very strong. I don't have a chatbot, Apple. So, uh... Oops. What Supras are there, even? Uh, I don't remember all the uh, Supras in this. I know there's the uh, yellow hat, which is obvious, because yellow. That's so ultra full, that's one. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, Apple. Yeah, I probably did so sard as well. I, I fucking yeah. The fourth, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's a fucking Twitch alert thing. Okay, then no. I don't need no fucking notifications. Yeah, no Castrol Toms, sadly. It's okay. Uh, Seto Corsa has the Tim's Supra. I love that one. No, the Supras are getting away. Get back here. Just remember that I forgot to check my tires. There's definitely the Superflow one. Go car, go! Keep up with the fuckers. The fuckers are trying to get away. Yeah, even before the Super GT is too strong. Hello! We have shenanigans. Oh, here's the other one, Eclipse Advan. Or something like that. That's the other Supra. Okay, so it's Yellow Hat, Exxon, Eclipse Advan, and Open Interface Toms. Ah, I see. Well, now that we know the Super Grid. The Supra GT. Ha ha ha. Shut up, man. I'm a little nervous about having Marito right behind me, to be perfectly honest. Especially heading into the uh, hairpin here. I don't want to get fucked. Fucking wheel spin. I didn't even realize you made the joke. Q. God damn it, Sands! Okay. Slipstream. Hopefully, slipstream. Actually, no, I want to be about this distance behind, because I'll, uh, they, they take 130R way slower than me. They also do it a lot better than me. Completely missed the turn there. Alright, seven laps complete. How are my tires doing? Oh shit, tires are already at 50%, god damn. So 
So yeah, this is a two-stopper. Fuck like what I said earlier. So let's see, if I pit now... That'll leave... 22 laps left. So that'd be 11 laps per stint. Or I can pit at lap 9 and make it 9, 10, 10. I'm gonna pit at lap 9. Don't mind me just playing with my strategy. Although it'd probably be slightly more beneficial to pit at lap 10 and 20. Or, I mean... Actually, yeah, pitting at lap 10 and 20. I don't know why I was thinking 9, 10, 10. It'd be 9, 10, 11. I know how to math, I'm uh, not going for it. We're going wide. So yeah, I'm gonna make it even 10 lap stints, fuck it. So, yeah, I don't know why I opened the Tulum tree, I meant to do that. I have no idea what these fuckers are going to do, but I already have my uh, strategy set in place. Hopefully no one in front of me pits at lap 10 as well. Then they'll just get in my way. And I royally fucked up the exit of the chicane. So bye bye super squad. smooth first turn. Section, hey Alex. Uh oh, the Q have an epiphany for me. and just pit at lap, make my second stop at 19. Except they'd probably, uh... Also pit at 19 just to fuck with me. Wait, Orimabu? Is that, like, actually Orimabu from TXR? Like, is his name actually Orido? Hey, you got the actual Excalibur. Nice. Final Fantasy, bro. Only 39.90 damage? Come on. Get good. Gotta do 99.999 per hit. Manabu Orido. Yeah. Oh. Well then. Motherfucker gave me so much hell at TXR3. Through super fast fucking Supra. Hey, Junior. Time for in-lap number one. I tried to close the telemetry. I don't have telemetry on screen. Help. Only level 36. Come on, I gotta get into level 99, like, now. Shut up, me. I know not what I say. Damage unlocked damage from Flight Sim X. Yeah, 99,999. Can do that in uh, Final Fantasy games. Now you can do it in 10, because I was watching Rob grind for shit and he was doing that much damage. That's like the damage cap in that game. Final Fantasy 10. Fucking. 
Stop thinking about flight sims, Ludo. Got me all confused. Oh, Kurt Busch won the race at Pocono. Ooh, sweet. Thank you, text dog. Oh, okay. So you have to do like some kind of unlock, have an item to unlock damage, or else it's just ninety nine, ninety nine. Oh, huh. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going wide. I'm also going in the pits. Fuck this noise. He's in the pit lane. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Oh, for a second there, I thought I had like the first pit stall there, but nope. Well, hopefully, you play the PC version of Final Fantasy X then, because. Billions of years of grinding is reduced to only a hundred years because of the fucking, like... Spit, speed up thing. That increased uh, battle. I'm not using a wheel, I'm just using a standard 360 controller. I still need to get uh, Final Fantasy X, X2 collection, probably on PS3. Then again, I need to get a lot of games that have Final Fantasy in the name, so fuck me. Alright, so, got fresh tires. See what I can do with them. I'm actually surprised at how close Motoyama is to everyone else, considering he definitely has to have some kind of, some significant aero damage from his crash. On like lap two. Whenever the hell that happened. Two or three. People don't like Tin 2 because it doesn't have Lulu. Clearly. Whatever fucking tit lady is called. I don't know shit about 10 too, so I can tell ya. Dang it, I barely know shit about 10. The only thing I know about 10 is the fucking laughing scene. Ah, the good old laughing scene. It's even better in Japanese. <coughs> hey Lando, yeah, me Viper, man. I've gotta drive Viper whenever I can. Oh, well, we have the first Supers. Pitting. Also, what the fuck was that pit exit? That was the strangest pit exit I've ever seen. How you doing, Hattori? This is my chance. Gotta clear him. Got him. Okay. Which fit that is is the Labra team, uh, Imsa Viper. Speaking of Imsa Viper, apparently uh, Viper won the GTD class at um, Detroit recently, which is fucking nice. All hail the Viper. Yeah, the Eyelash Viper. This is a French team. Ooh. Hurry, I'm driving the Ludo Viper. Oh, the other two supers are in. So I'm going to be very careful with uh, evasive driving here. 
with their re-entries being as stupid as they are. Because, yeah, they just fucking shoot left. I'm pretty sure we just had a crash. But I needed to uh, look forward for uh, first turn. With one of the back markers goes one stop. Well then, um, fuck. That's all I have to say. I don't think any of the three in front of me are going to try for one stop. I don't even remember Galati in the previous race, or not the previous race, but the uh, R4 race, where we thought he, everyone, well, I was definitely convinced he was doing one stop because he pitted at, you know, lap 18 out of 35, and then he pitted again at 34. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going wide. That's why I'm in fourth. Well, there goes your theory, because uh, Cornell and Ide just pitted, although Motoyama's still on track. There goes one of the Skylines and the lone NSX. Stop confirm. Come on, he's got another lap after this. Plus, he has to have a lot of damage on his car. There's no way he can't. After what happened earlier. Cue with the video spam, oh yeah. I don't know, Harry, this might this whole Brock Lesnar thing might be Wooey's way of convincing Dana to let them borrow Ronda for a WrestleMania match. Be interesting. Hey Sprocket. Still got the, uh, the Supra party right behind me. Hmm. I don't know, maybe, huh? Okay, boys, maybe a medium tire stint can help you out a little bit to form some kind of gap. and keeping these uh, Supras at bay. Although it doesn't seem like I'm holding them up because they're not all, you know, piled right behind me. And stuff. So, it's a good thing that I'm actually setting a good pace.
Oh, hey, Miller. Just in time. Back just in time for what will probably be the final stream of Forza 2. Because, hey, I only have two races left after this. Hey, Neo. Speaking of long time no see, hey, Neo. Hello, Denny. And we're halfway through the race. Yay. Ooh, this is going to be close to an hour long race. The longest one so far in this LP. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Fuck that up. I was busy with school. Damn school grind. Getting in the way of fun. No, I've already did Nurburgring Harry. Did that last night. And boy was it a holocaust. From... Hey JCS. From fucking the failed attempts with the lower class Porsche to the successful attempt with the Flying Lizard. Oh my fucking god, that race was all... It wasn't really awful, it was just fucking ridiculous. Favorite car in all the racing games I've played. It'd be one of the Vipers from something. Just Viper in general. <coughs> Yeah, Flying Lizard Porsche is best Porsche. I really like the Flying Lizard, like, livery. Okay, four more laps till my second and final pit stop. Ooh, I actually have a one second lead over Hattori there at the line. Said, I'm actually setting a competitive pace instead of just holding these guys up, which is really nice. <clears throat> hey, Grump. Where's not so grump? Ha ha, I made a shitty joke. Anyways. Uh. This is probably GT1 class. No, GT2 class. And Super GT. I'm the only person not driving a Super GT car in this race, so yeah. So I think this is Super GT plus uh, GT2 class. That feel when I'm the only person who understood Harry's question. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. My opinion on GT Sport looks like it's going to be a solid, uh, cool little filler game for me, and a competitive online game for everyone else. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> also, unlicensed Bristol looks cool as fuck. Because I'm a fan of Bristol anyways. <clears throat> um, I 
don't know if Viper ever did a GT1 car. To be perfectly honest. Man, Sachia and the other super driver just haven't been able to catch up to me, Hattori and Wakasaka. They just haven't. Oh yeah, the Bristol races in GT Sport are going to be fucking awful because people don't know how to car, but still, it looks like it's going to be a cool, uh, it looks like a cool ass track. Because it's Bristol. With asphalt. Oh, hello, how you doing, Hattori? Holy shit. Okay. I guess he's uh, tired of following me. Get the fuck back behind me, kid. I'm surprised I didn't get a shit ton of damage from that. I'm surprised I didn't get any damage at all from that. Because that was a big hit. Bristol before concrete. Alright, two more laps. Yeah. I love when the AI pit, uh, pits me. Granted, the AI is less uh, likely to pit you in this game than in, in Forza 1. Jesus Christ, AI in Forza 1. Talk about retard dives. AI was fucking king of that in that game. It was a large source of my frustration when LPing it. Gap on Hattori, so I don't have to worry about breaking in the to the hairpin here. I think I'm just gonna have to watch out and spoon for a Tory. Whoops, I don't need second gear. fucking Ori Mabu's in this race. Let's see. He's in fifth place in the... Oh yeah, he's in the uh, fourth Supra. Forgot the... How could I forget him? Rip old Catalonia. More like rip the bike configuration. This is now TXR. It's funny because we're racing in Japan on a track that was featured in a Genki game. Wasn't this wasn't this track in Racing Battle C1 or is it was it just Sakuba? I, I don't even know. I should probably like check facts before I state them. Cause me dummy head. Oh, we're going a little wide. And there's the Tori. I'm just gonna give him the spot, fuck it. I'm pitting this lap anyways. Oh, okay. What's up, Wakasaka? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. So she and uh, Orimabu uh, caught up. Finally. I think I was actually starting to hold these guys up with my worn tires. It's gonna make for a very interesting finish to this race. Get a pit lane. Get my new shoes for the last 10 laps of this. This is a track and see one GP. Yay, I got something right. All right. 20 laps complete, 10 to go. Here we go. Now over the next few laps, you need to be very careful about uh, track re-entry, because the AI is fucking stupid about it. Hey, Discolos. Discolos. Person. Person man. Just bring this bitch home. Get a good outlap here, and however many other laps I'll have for the Super Squad pits. These Scolos, okay. Got it. At least for now. Well, that didn't go well. Monkey, you know you want to do that upload spam for all your 35 subscribers. You know you want to spam. I think a drift car is eh. I don't give a shit. I'm just not into drifting at all. I couldn't really care much less about it. This is going to be interesting because I'm catching up to Moto Motoyama. May end up having to pass him on track here. Oh, damn, long pace for a 55. fuck down on speed there so I can actually make it around the goddamn hairpin. Nice tight line. Okay. Finish game tonight? Yeah, probably. As long as these races don't go fucking awful forever, should be able to finish this game tonight. Okay. Well, I dove under Motoyama, and somehow it stuck. So, I'll take that. Oh, there's a. Couple of the supers there. 
exiting the pits. And I'm way in front of them. Yay! Hey, MDK. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Neo. The, the, the car community is pretty much divided into racers and drifters. long has it taken me to record this? What do you mean, the whole LP? I don't fucking know. I think I have like 54 hours in the game right now or something like that. I forgot about that, Harry. Fucking, I always forget to update my stream schedule on my YouTube page. Like, fuck. Well, I'm not saying there's nobody that likes both, Q. I know you like both. And I... I... Like... Have an appreciation towards drifting. For the people who actually, like, you know, can do it. But... The community has greatly turned me off of drifting as a whole, and it's just not really something I'm too interested in just following at all. I care more about racing. Can I get around? See if I can slipstream past the NSX here. Yes, I diddly can. <clears throat> Sweet. So things are looking very good here for a finish. It's not just Slap Train that turned me off from the community. He is a part of it, but he's not the part of it. The reason. Dude, drifting in grid was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, the Japanese announcer was fucking crazy during that. During the uh, drift events in grid. It was fucking, it was fucking great. Get so goddamn excited. There's E Day just up the road. Oh, please make it okay. And one of the. Oh, both of the other supers are in. I think. Well, there's one. Maybe three of them pitted. I don't know. I don't fucking know. All I know is that I'm now in second, so... Just gotta get around E-Day and... The lead will be mine, either on track or through him pitting. If that's right, I'm pretty sure I could pass him on track. So even if he did try to do some one-stop shenanigans... Sonic Skyline NP1 now. For now. Won't be for long. Um. Do you know how often the uh, fucking Arc 7 man's pits cable is? 
because the thing you have to think about with using softer tires is the extra time in pit lane that you'll be spending through pitting more often. And if he's like on a longer tire strategy than you, then yeah. You have to think about like gaining time. Pits about 36 laps. Ugh. I'd say go back to the hards and try to tough them out. And then maybe towards the end of the race, if you're desperate, go to mediums. Yeah, a five lap difference, I would say st go back to the hards. And just push, push, push. Luckily, the Sakuba pit lane isn't that long, so you don't have to gain a whole lot of time on him through each stint, but still. Alright, let's see. I got 380 meters on Hattori. Nice. And hey, Orimo or whatever, Orido is in fourth. He's the second of the Supras. what I'm saying, K okay, boys, I'd say just stick with the uh, hards, gain the uh, extra time through the double stint length, and ride it out like that. I mean, the good thing is, throughout, like, one of your stints, you'll have a distinct advantage on them, because of tire wear. So, yeah. Yeah, if push comes to shove, if you're super desperate, then just fucking put him in the dirt. <laughs> her, her. Four to go. What is my gap? Very large, that's what it is. Ten, okay, I got ten seconds on the Supras. So... I don't really need to drive too hard. Just gotta bring it home at this point. How the hell did I gain 10 seconds on these guys? Jesus Christ. Nope, Modiyama's finally pitting. Alright. E-Day's in fourth. What happened here? What happened to the other Supras? Did we have some pit exit shenanigans? I feel like we had some pit exit shenanigans. Mark 7 can't cold tires for crap. Well, there you go. Yeah. Like, you'll definitely have an advantage, like, at the beginning of his, like, during a cold tire stint for the Arc 7 for those couple laps, and then... And then, like, second half of his stint. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, Moriyama's or yep, Sachiya and Wasak Wakisaka definitely uh, had an accident. Is there in the last two spots? Oops. So what you get for uh, programming a really really bad re-entry for this track, turn ten. Should've just had him follow the white line and not go fucking swinging out onto the, you know, driving line. Oh god, and before it was a completely different incident for than what I'm thinking. Like it had nothing to do with pit re- uh, yeah, track re-entry. Also, I'm pulling away. Gap's up to 11 seconds now.
with just three laps to go. Okay, front tires are wearing. Rears are starting too. Is seven videos today. Only seven, Q? Come on, you can spam better than that. I've spammed better than that. Okay, maybe not that seven, but you, you know. And then people got butt hurt. Well, not people, like person got butt hurt about the video spam. Like, okay, I don't care. Two to go. It looks like we're just gonna get under an hour for this uh, race length. Yeah, spam vids like fucking DSP uploads like fucking 20 videos a goddamn hour. I wish I could do that. Hey, Jacoby. Oh, I see the super is off to the left, going under the bridge. Is this really cool coming out of the hairpin seeing the other cars come under the bridge like that? Okay, here we go. One lap remaining at Sakuba or Sakuba Wow, Suzuka. Wrong Japan track, nerd. Yeah, I'm still been gaining time. Leads up to twelve seconds. Crowd cheers, trying to get, trying to will Orito on to take second place. Well, it looks like it's gonna be tough because he's looks like he's a couple car lengths behind Hatori. Yellow hat too strong, too fast, too strong. That was a bad hairpin. Nikes, okay, we're good. Yeah, fucking Maruka car, Maruka driver winning at Suzuka against Japaners. This goes to show that IMSA is better than Super GT, clearly. Come at me, fight me. Round 
final turn. And this is not a Super GT spec. It's it, it's an IMSA one. There's like Le Mans stickers all over the fucking thing. Also, I won. All right, there we go. Everyone's crossed the line. So ended up winning by 11 seconds over for Tori Arito in third. Then we have Ide in the first not Supra, Cornell in the lone NSX, Motoyama, Tsuchiya, and Wakasaka, who definitely had some kind of problems after that second round of pit stop, so there we go. Also, it was only the podium finishers that got sub one hour. Hey. Oh wow, I don't even have to pay for the uh, repairs to the front of my car. Nice. Now we get to watch this zoom again. Love that. All right. So let's just go through this shit. I'm not sure if this is my fifth uh, Dodge getting o leveling up overall. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, it's only my second level five Dodge. So there we go. So uh, that was uh, easier than expected because I was expecting this to be a massive holocaust, considering. Every other R3 race around Suzuka, especially, it was a fucking massive holocaust. Down for our winnings, we get the Exxon Superflow Supra. Is this what's his face's car? I don't even know anymore. That fucking, uh. thing. Next to rear tires. It's cute. I'm looking for a driver name. I don't say it. Damn you, game. Oh, anyways, yay! I think that is Arito's car. I don't know. But there we go. The Suzuka GP is done, so... With just two races remaining, for the two, we are gonna head to the Peninsula. For the R2 Endurance, so stay tuned for that. <laughs>